Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Imperium. Yes, Imperium stars Daniel Radcliffe, and basically the gist of the story is Daniel Radcliffe in this movie plays an FBI agent and basically has to basically he has to infiltrate a bunch of white supremacists because so Daniel Radcliffe has to go undercover as a white supremacist and get to know all these different groups and clans in the white supremacy community and stuff, and he has to find out who this bad person is and what they're planning and what sort of terrorist act they're going to do to the city and stuff and ba that's basically the gist of the story basically about basically about a police officer going undercover as a white supremacist and it's played by Daniel Radcliffe that is the gist of the story and stuff and yeah I was really excited to see this movie Imperium because it looked interesting and stuff and I know a lot of people were worried that this movie was going to be a lot like American History X or The Believer with Ryan Gosling well, just to give you guys, you know, some relief, it, this movie is nothing like The Believer or American History X. This movie is it completely, this movie stands on its own. It's nothing at all like those movies. Story-wise or tonally-wise, this is its own film. And honestly, the mo this movie, Imperium, is a fantastic movie, honestly. This movie was so freaking good. It, it's disturbing, especially the themes of this movie, the, the disturbing plot points, a lot of things that happen in this movie movie are very disturbing, but again, if you've seen movies like The Believer and American History X, then this sort of subject matter probably won't disturb you, but if you haven't seen movies like that, then yeah, this movie might be a little disturbing, a little hard to watch, but yeah, this movie is very good. This is a career-changing move for Daniel Radcliffe because we're all very used to seeing Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter and stuff, play the very likable, you know, our likable hero and stuff, and yeah, he's a hero in this movie, but he plays a very rough role in this movie because, again, he's going undercover as a white supremacist, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, things in this movie that are hard to watch and hard to hear, so yeah, just a heads up on that, and yeah, Daniel Radcliffe is absolutely fantastic. He makes this entire movie. He is absolutely fantastic in this movie as this role. It was great. I loved his performance in this movie and I loved and I love that he chose a role that is so different from his norm. Yes, he also did that with the role of uh, the movie Horns. Yeah, that was a pretty underrated movie, I think. And I really liked that movie. And yeah, I also thought that was a very different role for Daniel Radcliffe. And he was so good in that movie. And yeah, I heard Swiss Army Man is amazing. I haven't seen that movie yet. But yeah, I'm glad Daniel Radcliffe is choosing such weird, bizarre, and different roles. Very different from Harry Potter. And as much as I love him and Harry Harry Potter, I'm glad he's choosing very different, very strange and unique roles, and he plays them so well, because he is fantastic in this movie, Imperium. I loved his performance, he was so good. Yeah, all the other actors were great, all the all the actors who play the white supremacists, they're all great actors. Uh, Toni Collette is also in this movie, she plays the police officer who is in charge of the investigation, basically, she's the one that's running the show and stuff. His partner, I guess, in a way, and stuff, and she's really good in this movie, too. The entire cast is great, the acting in this movie is really good, the writing, the direction is also very solid. This movie is written and directed by Daniel, Daniel Raguis, and yeah, I think this is his directorial debut with this movie movie and he did a good job. The writing is great, the direction's great. Yes, it's a disturbing story because again it's about white supremacists. It's a very disturbing, hard to watch movie, but it is very well done, it's very well crafted, very well executed, and again Daniel Radcliffe is fantastic in this movie. That's all I gotta say about this movie. It's a very, very good movie with some great writing, great acting, and I highly recommend this movie. If you're a fan of American History X and The Believer, I think most definitely you'll be a fan of this movie, and it's a great movie. It's a very compelling, dramatic film, and I would definitely recommend it. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the movie Imperium an 8.5 out of 10. So yeah, definitely check this movie out. It's a very, very good movie. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Imperium. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me, what is your favorite Daniel Radcliffe movie? Favorite Daniel Radcliffe movie that isn't Harry Potter. Aha! See how I did there? Favorite Daniel Radcliffe movie that isn't Harry Potter. This, so far, yeah, this might be my favorite Daniel Radcliffe movie that isn't Harry Potter. But what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, like this video, please like, subscribe to his channel, and join the dark side.